So here we are folks with match number 37, it's Denmark up against France. So starting 11-4, Denmark is like this, Schmeichel in goal, Vestergaard, Jalan, Christiansen, Kajar, Shona, Jensen, Christian Eriksen, Delaney, Jorgensen, and Paulson up front. As for France, they line up like this, Loris in goal, Mendy, Digny, Koscielny, Varane, Kante, Lamar, Pogba, Matui, Mbappe, and Griezmann up front. So match 37 and France get the match underway. France in their traditional blue jerseys looking to get an early shot on goal. Denmark having to uh, do some very, very early defending. Uh, did I say France in their traditional blues and Denmark in their traditional reds? No question here who's who and no question here who's in front. And France take a very early lead in this group F. Sorry, Group C game, which is wide open. That's right, wide open. Mbappe opens up the score for France. Very early doors. And now France are in dominating control of this group. We'll talk more about the group situation in just a second. We are still getting through the introductions here, boys and girls. Here come Denmark now in their familiar red and white shirts. No questions. Obviously, we had that confusion around the Peru-Denmark game of who was who. But, yes... Big encounter this one if the real match takes place on June 26th as France actually get their second goal of the day. It's barely a minute gone, folks, and we are in cruise control for the mighty French. 2-0 up. Denmark look like they're heading home. There's no way they can qualify with three points at this stage with Griezmann. Anton Griezmann joins Mbappe on the score sheet. But yes, this would see Denmark eliminated should the result go this way. A draw, if they were to do this, pull it all back, probably won't be a good, it wouldn't be good enough actually because Denmark have that negative one goal deficit. So this match in the real world will take place June 26th at the Luzhniki Stadium in Moscow. That's right, in the current standings in the group. Before kickoff, Australia topped the group with four points, but with a superior goal difference on France. That my, my, has changed right now because France have now got seven points if the results were to stay like this and a goal difference of three. So, depending on the results between Australia and Peru, we'll see where France will finish. In fact, the result like this right now, Peru will have already eliminated due to the fact that they have not got a point on the board. So Denmark, if they're going to uh, avoid joining Peru in the exits, they need to find themselves at least three goals to get themselves back in. And I don't see it happening. France looking very, very good at the moment with those two early goals. So the winners of this group are likely to face the runner-up in Group D. And at this stand, we do not know uh, who's who or who's heading to be the top spot in Group D. I don't have those information in front of me, but right now it is France top in the group. But we do have to see the result of the Australia-Peru game which will be on the channel. Oh my goodness gracious. France are in dreamland. They are 3-0 up now. 3-0 up with some real crackers of, of goals. Who's on the score sheet this time? It looks like it could be Griezmann from his positioning on the, on the field. And it is Antoine Griezmann gets his second of the day. And France is third of the night. 3 0. France are in cruise control. And that really does shake up the uh, goal difference column on the uh, Group C table. Denmark, they wish they were going home already. They wish they didn't have to come out for the second half. And we're only barely even halfway through the first half. And here comes France again looking for a fourth. Right now, the biggest victory stands at 4 0. And that was Spain ahead of Portugal. France could equal that, and they do equal that. Two minutes, 32 seconds. Every strike they get goes in the back of the net at the moment, and that looks like it's Mbappe this time uh, on the score sheet. If this is your first FIFA 95 hacked video, there it is, Mbappe. Uh, you will realize that I have edited the original uh, database or uh, original players and brought it up to the present day in this classic 16-bit retro game, FIFA 95, that I used to play on my Mega Drive back in the day. 
now you can get it an emulated version for your PC or Mac or whatever uh, don't ask me where I got it from because uh, yeah. anyway let's get moving and focus on France here as they look for a goal number five which would be the record scorer and they're looking good if they can get a shot in here because the keeper Schmeichel's having a mare and again here they go substitute lots of space to France long range effort this time he does get a cracking save down to the ground three minutes gone four nil up at the moment four nil they're in dreamland and they are they're there they're there already and they will it's not necessarily um group winners because their goal difference is now at five australia will have to beat peru by at least two goals and if you look at the result between france and australia uh the one more draw all right this is too bad now for france denmark still They've got to come into the, the mentality that if France can score four goals in one half, they can score four goals in one half. And if they can get a goal before the halftime whistle, they might have a chance. Paul Pogba in the book there with a yellow card gives um, uh, Denmark a opportunity from the spot kick. Their ball situation floated in there. It's actually poorly done. Uh, if he can get a shot in here, he does. Loris, though, has brought his A game. And we are looking to see at this first half. Four goals in one, one half of football. And maybe there might be time for a fifth. Probably, if they can get down the fish. He turns, he shoots. It's at the back of the net, though. The whistle's gone. So despite the ball being in the back of the net, it's still only France for Denmark. No, no, Denmark need to get off to a flyer if they're going to get back in this game. But right now, I don't see it happening. If, I, if, if at all, I see another goal for France in this one. But Denmark, they need to be strong. They need to be mentally brave. They beat, who they beat? Ireland by five goals to one. So they can score goals in the meter and they've got a corner right now. What are they going to do with this? They float it in. Headed in on goal and we do have one goal back. Wowza, this is a right goal fest. Straight from the corner, using his head. And we have, I wouldn't say a game on our hands, but it makes it a little bit more interesting. Jorgensen uh, on the score sheet there from the corner. And it's now France 4, uh, Denmark 1. It does take a little dink at the goal difference column. Now, I think if they're going to get themselves right back into contention, a second goal for Denmark before the six-minute mark would make it really interesting. Um, but goal by France now, a fifth, would definitely write off any chances. Uh, over the years, the two sides, Denmark and France, have played each other... 13 times. I'll tell you more about that in one minute once this fizzles out. Uh, France have won eight of them. Denmark have won four. The two sides have drawn one between each other. And the last time that these two sides met was way back. Wasn't way back. October 15th, uh, 2011. It was a friendly. France came out winners 2-1. to one. Ooh, if that had gone in there, boys, we would have been on for a right encounter. The last time Denmark won was in the World Cup 2002, 2-0 victors. Uh, that was in the South Korea, Japan World Cup. And that's just put behind for another corner, folks. Another corner. Can they get a carbon copy goal from their first one? It's floated in there. Long range effort. Turn and shoot, son. Turn and shoot, have a go. Oh, it's a good effort. France are just doing enough to keep them at bay and that was just weak. Um, and the first encounter between the two sides was all the way back in 1973, where France came out 3-0 winners. Winners, winners, chicken dinners. Long-range ball. France now looking to... Well, it's, it's in the bag still. They've, they've got nothing to really worry about. Uh, so what are your thoughts on France and Denmark in the World Cup? What, do you think they actually can both get through in this tricky group? Because Peru and um, Australia aren't no write-offs. They could be a tricky outfits themselves. I expect France to, to walk it. And we've got a chance here if they could turn and shoot. Get a shot away. Get a shot away. No chance. Here comes Denmark now. I think it's too little too late. They need another goal pretty much now. If they're going to make it interesting. Long ball in midfield. Passed forward. But it's dealt with by the French left back. And here we have a throw in. Kept in play by the Danish Danish player. Kept in. Now maybe he can build something. If he can pick a pass out, he can't. It's absolutely horrific. And 
hiccup France again. I'd like to see a fifth goal by France, just to see if it's possible. But Denmark looking to get themselves a consolation goal. Because right now they're heading home. As to France, they're heading through to the next round. And they are in good contention. Good prospects of being group winners. Peru, though, have the opportunity to mess it all up. And... Uh, Oh, why goodness gracious, it's actually cleared by France over the top. And now they have another corner for another chance to kind of make it really interesting in the last few seconds. But to be honest with you, this has to go in. This has to go in. And it's gone over for another corner. Okay, this one has to go in. This one has to go in, folks. It has to go in. It scored from one. Not this time. It's, it's over. Pack your bags, Denmark fans. You're heading home. France still looking still probing if he can get a pass away up here further forward yes he does it's a little bit too heavy he ain't gonna get on this but maybe no last few seconds it's all over folks France will be keeping an eye out on the Australia Peru game to see if they will be topping the group and as a last minute foul.com for Delaney he goes into the book and uh, yeah just story of the day. France have been phenomenal. 4 1, there it is. Final score. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.